Hey everybody, welcome to day eight of Earth's Changing Climate Engineering Internship, Writing Design Decisions. Now, yesterday, hey, I made a mistake. Um, I think I told you just focus on the uh, climate impact section of the outline. You were supposed to do all of them, the historic value and the cost as well. So some of you may have done that and great, you are exactly where you need to be. Uh, some of you may need some extra time to do that. So um, since this assignment is coming at you on a Friday, um, we got some time. We got some time to work on it. So um, please complete the outlines uh, for cost and historic value. Um, and then we can work on today's lessons. So make sure you check the message uh, today from the project director, from Marcos. I'm gonna go ahead and read it because I love the sound of my own voice. Hello, interns. I reviewed your proposal outlines and sent letters with feedback on your use of evidence. Now, let me correct that. Uh, you will not have those letters. Um, Moving on. Please review my feedback carefully. Your interruption is a comment for your don't understand. Yeah, we don't have that feedback. Uh, I've learned through submitting my own proposals how important it is to include multiple sources of evidence to support my argument for how a design is optimal. I'm not just looking for the design with the lowest cost or even the design that reduces Sultan's climate impact the most. I am looking for the optimal design, one that considers all of the criteria and makes the most effective trade offs. Love Marcos. So um, that's important. You know, it's not that he's just worried about oh the, the CO2 emissions or just worried about cost. He wants something that addresses everything. Um, otherwise, he would have told us in the very beginning, hey, all I really care about is cost or all I really care about is making our roofs as reflective as possible. Um, but no, he wants everything uh, to be in this proposal. So today is going to be pretty straightforward. You're going to be writing part of your final proposal. Um, now, recall from the letter, it said there should be some feedback. There is no feedback. But what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at the evidence that you uh, put in the background research. That's what we're looking at. Um, so what were some of those uh, sources of evidence? Well, you could have used data from uh, RoofMod from your testing. You could have used uh, information from the dossier that we got, which I actually attached a copy of it to this lesson. Um, what else? Feedback letters uh, that we received previously from our other designs, uh, comparisons of our designs. So there's a lot of evidence that you could use in order to make mm -hmm. your design that much more appealing when you write your final proposals. So here's what we are doing today. We are actually only going to write the design decisions section of our proposal. So you should have um, in your inbox um, a fillable form, uh, basically, for you to write out your proposal. Uh, there should be an introduction, um, and then a section for design decisions, climate impact, historic value, and cost. And then there should be a conclusion where you're considering trade-offs. You don't need to do the introduction today. You don't need to do the conclusion today. All we're focusing on today is our desi design decisions. So let's take a look at a couple things. Uh, let's see, is this one? Oh, here's the rubric. Um, now, this is great, actually. I've attached this to your lesson as well. Uh, we want to be over here in Excels. Excels. So for design decisions... Here's where what we want to make sure that we are doing in our uh, uh, paragraphs here. Let me zoom in on that. Uses multiple pieces of strong evidence to support design decisions. We were just saying we need a lot of evidence. Thoroughly explaining why this specific feature was selected over other options and how that feature of the design relates to the criterion. Remember, the criterion were um, keeping costs low, um, increasing reflectivity, uh, reducing carbon emissions. Um, so make sure, make sure that this is what you're going off of. This is what we want to achieve when we're writing those. All right, let's move to the next one. Uh, here we go. Now, this might look familiar um, when we were writing our outlines for um, climate impact, uh, historic value, and cost. Um, now, the information here, this is an example for you. And, and this is about toothbrushes, okay? You may actually recognize this because back when we did our Futura Bar engineering internship, um, there was a reading that we did about toothbrushes um, and a basically a proposal that somebody did 
uh, where they had testing, et cetera. And, but they were looking at different types of toothbrushes uh, as an example for us to write our proposal. So here's the data that they had in their data um, in their outline. And you can see it's in different colors. And here's how they applied it in their paragraph. So this could be helpful for you if you're struggling to figure out, okay, here's my outline, but how do I actually put that into paragraph form? <gasps> here's an example for you. You could follow this format if you wanted to, you could just use it to inspire you. Um, but this is a really great uh, tool for you to reference. Uh, again, if you are struggling and having trouble getting from the outline to the actual paragraphs. All right, this is, I attached this as well, but you have the online version or you should have the online version where you can just type into it. Uh, after you type in uh, your responses, and remember we're only doing design decisions, climate impact, historic value and cost. Don't hit submit, hit save, because we don't want to hit submit until after we do our introduction or our conclusion. Um, what's this? Oh, the dossier. I told you I included the dossier in uh, today's lesson. Uh, there's other places for you to find it, but just so it's easy to access. A lot of information in there that you might want to reference again. Uh, so that's it. That's it. Write your design decisions paragraphs. Make sure you're including a lot of evidence. Um, and yeah, hey, we'll see you. We'll see you next time. How do I get out of here?